Greetings in the name of the Most High Yah, it's King Yediyah, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And right now I'm in a live trade on Euro USD. And um, let me just break down this trade here and what I think about it right now. So, um, starting off with the quantum currency strength indicator. Let's see, we have we have the Euro right here. Hold on. All right, so the euro right here is below um, the oversold level. It was, and we pushed up above, and we have a, a kind of upward traje trajectory, right? So it's not really that strong, though. It's kind of having this, this pullback here. It's probably going to go back to oversold, right? And then we have this US dollar kind of moving in the upward direction, right? So these are two negatives for this euro USD trade right there. They're not heading in the right direction, right? Because I'm actually in a buy buy um trade on Euro USD. <clears throat> and when I get to the chart, I'll show you why. Let's see. Um go into the US dollar. This is the four hour chart. And yeah, this is good enough. All right. So with the US dollar and the four hour chart, we're, we're still hovering around like this 50% level, kind of going back and forth between this 50% Fib level and this um 38%, so 50% here. Wait, hold on. So this is the 50% level. We're catching support here. And this is the 38% level we're getting resistance here, right? So interest rates is coming up, so this is kind of moving sideways. Um, doesn't really have any direction right now. It's not falling. It's not. It's not. It's not going up. So I was thinking, you know, like we, when we get these weak rejections right here off of the 38% level, I'm thinking that you know we're we're gonna pull back at least. Well, maybe even tonight we're gonna pull back at least to the fifty percent level, right? Which is gonna it's gonna give the US dollar the Euro USD, sorry, some some leg like room to move up, right? So let's see, let's go to the Euro USD chart. So this is my entry right here at one point zero one one zero eight. See, that's my entry right there. Actually, no, what am I talking about, man? Damn, I'm tired from the gym. All right, let's try that again. So my entry here is 1.01283. My stop loss is at 1.01108. And um, take profit is here, like back into value at 1.02230. So let me just pull out pull out this volume point of control. Right, so this is a weekly volume point of control, that dotted white line right there. I'm I'm taking profit in front of that, right? So this is where all the volume has accumulated um on the Euro USD, right? So we got the selling off. Now this um this red line right here that's a high volume node signifying that you know it's it's a lot of it's a lot of volume and transactions took place right here right so it's coming from this from this um this price action right here where we pushed up it's coming from this support right here let me just clear that up so it's coming from this initial move up this is where the buying took place the support came in here as well, creating this high volume, um, high volume node. And then again, we're here again catching support, right? So usually when we come down to this level, we push up. But how far it's gonna push up, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure about this trade, and and it keeps it keeps this this um candle right here isn't progressing. It keeps um let's see how much how much hour we got like less than an hour, right? And this candle kind of went nowhere, you know. <clears throat> so.
so I'm considering I'm considering breaking even this trade like just putting my stop my stop loss up to like about here and just leave it be for tonight you know because I really don't I don't like the price action I don't have any confidence in this trade right now I don't think it's gonna get to my um to my take profit right if we were supposed to get to my take profit at least we should in this candle we should have broke above this level right here right which is the top of this candle we should have broke out and nothing happened at all and it's already 12.02 a.m. so I don't really have any faith in this trade so I'm gonna break even this trade right here at 1.01315 and if it runs it runs overnight you know if it comes up and hits my target well then great you know what I mean but at least I'm not gonna lose anything probably get like three dollars and twenty cents off the trade or some something like that well it's actually right there you know <clears throat> so yeah um basically i gotta wait till the interest rate hike takes place and then the us dollar could start doing something because right now right now it's not really doing anything you know we got this sideways action like going down and just bouncing around right here ain't nothing really happening so we gotta get a breakout at this level you know head up yeah i ain't drawing no more ca um arrows man let me use my arrows yeah so we gotta get a breakout at this level right here especially this um accumulation distribution resistance line this dash red line that's where price has um hit numerous times it's hit there seven times you see that that number right there is hit there seven times already so this is another quantum strength um quantum indicator it's accumulation distribution and it it just provides the levels for you and it shows you how much time it's been hit and the color code gives it um its significance it's either resistance at red or if it's green it's going to be support right so 10 times right here it's been hit and the more it gets hit the the thicker the line gets so it's this one this green line support has been hit um 10 times so <clears throat> support i guess is is looking stronger than the resistance right so again that's another um disqualifier for this trade right here so not really feeling this euro usd trade and I should have stuck to my um what I said before. I think in a in a prior video or something, or maybe I posted it on Twitter, like no, I think it was a video. I gotta stay away from this Euro U this USD peers until until the US dollar gets its rate hike, interest rate hike, and let it start making some moves. Then we can start trick taking some trades, you know. Cause I think probably if it starts pushing up then the euro usd could push back down to like to the lows and stuff because it's easy at this point here to just break the lows from here break that low come down retest and just break the low again yeah i think that's what the setup is gonna be I just gotta wait for that just was was thinking like you know you the us dollar is gonna probably display a little a little weakness before the interest rate hike so they could pull back to a level like maybe even um maybe even pull back get like a nice little dip to the 61 percent fib level and then we could push up from there you know just a little liquidity grab you know what i'm saying <clears throat> So yeah, that's the trade setup. That's what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to bed and leave this. Let's see what it does. Just the volatility alone so pro supposed to probably just trigger me out, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what it does. Alright, y'all, it's King Yediya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And y'all trade safe and stay blessed.